All right, so we have our friends at Virtus on the Virtus stream. We want to welcome you guys. Um, and then we also have our live stream from Creative Pets. Um, you guys are on Twitch, YouTube Live, Facebook. Um, and I want to welcome y'all as well, wherever you're dialing in from. Amanda's here um, to show, us, show us some modified moves and different things as well. Um, and uh, we're just going to make it work. So, again, this is supposed to be, you know, tailored to a lockdown situation and a quarantine where you're at your house, you don't have your typical equipment, uh, gym equipment, or, and, and, and weights. And so, uh, even so, this morning, that's even more pertinent for myself, is um, there was about one set of dumbbells left here at our gym at Virtus because everybody's taking dumbbells home. Um, it's kind of like the library, uh, rent a book type of situation. I guess you just sign out some gym equipment to take home. Um, and they're all gone. So, um, I'm going to have to do some modified things this morning as far as, uh, the work I was going to do with, um, some 35 pound dumbbells. But, find yourself something similar to a dumbbell. We're going to do a workout we did a couple weeks ago. The five, five by 25 is what I call it. We're going to do five sets of 25 reps, um, upper body and some lower body as well. And then we're going to um, have you guys, after we get off the stream, finish up with a, uh, a, a run of your choice, either a three mile equivalent um, long distance run, or you can do some more sprint type work um, and 100 yard buildups is what I would suggest. But completely up to you. That's just a finisher, a bonus, if you're, if you're feeling froggy. So, um, pull the work up, up over here, and we will get rolling. So, go ahead and stretch yourself out. If you're not uh, warmed up already, um, be sure to get your core loosened up, get your shoulders loosened up, hips and knees, all your major joints. Um, we want to get those all loosened up. Move the camera a little bit here. here. One sec. Okay. Switch that. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, so, go ahead and let's get our shoulders warmed up first. Let's we'll we'll guide you through some workout stuff. All right. Forward rotation, backward rotation. And then. They call this loving yourself right here. Just hugging yourself. Get those, this kind of gets those rear deltoids loosened up, get your lats loosened up. All right. Um, now go ahead and we're gonna reach down and grab, grab an ankle. We'll start with our left ankle and go ahead and, and if you can touch the floor, grab your foot the farther down, the deeper you can get the stretch, the better. You should feel it through your hamstrings, your hips, your lower back on your opposite side here. Cannot stress enough the importance of stretching. Um, as soon as we don't stretch, all right, on the right side, as soon as we don't stretch, that's when injuries happen and our mobility uh, will just continue to get less and less um, the less we stretch. And that is never a good thing. And now down the middle, see how far back you can reach between your legs. All right. Now come back up. Um, push your hips out. And then I want you to lock, interlock your fingers and push, push those out in front of you. All right. Now bring them up over your head. Try to bring them back as far as you can behind your head. And relax. Okay. So today, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to do the 5 by 25, which will be five sets. Uh, of each exercise, each movement. We're going to do 25 push-ups that can be elevated if you want to try the more advanced version. They can be normal push-ups 
or if you need to do a modified version, you can do push-ups from your knees as well. So we're gonna do five sets of 25 of those. Then we're gonna move into a, a overhead push press, which I had for dumbbells. Now, that's one I'm gonna have to modify today and have dumbbells to do this with. But the movement is to work your shoulders in an overhead push press position. So I'm gonna have a, a 35 pound dumbbell that I'm gonna be working with and modifying to make that movement work. So we'll do uh, five sets of 25 on that as well. And then um, we'll do some lunges. I'm gonna use the dumbbell again for lunges, uh, five sets of 25 as well. And then you guys on your own can complete your cardio, either a three mile run or five 100 yard um, buildups, which a buildup is, um, not a full sprint, you start out and you want to peak speed, uh, peak your sprint speed at, at the halfway point. So, so gradually build up to about 50 yards and then the back half of that um, 100 yards you want to slow down. And so that is what is called a build up. So if you are really feeling like you want to get out and get some sprint work in and you have a, a park, um, a, a parking lot, uh, anything that you can get 100 yard straight distance in, I would highly recommend going and doing this because you will uh, see dividends from getting some sprint work in at the end of this workout. So, let's start out with our elevated push-ups. First set of 25, go ahead and knock them out. And if you can't get the 25, you have to break it up. The point of this is these, these reps for some people are going to be high in some of these exercises. Um, and the point of that is, is high reps and high intensity. Um, one, it's going to be great for cardio work while we're doing this, but two, um, high reps um, will sculpt and build more muscle definition rather than putting mass and size. Low reps and high amounts of weight will then generally build bulk and size. And for us, right now, this is summer workout, we're just going to try to sculpt, and also we don't have that much um, equipment and machinery to work with at home during the quarantine and those type of things, so we're just going to do the best that we can to, uh, you know, work on muscle definition and the cut, as they say. So, anyway, let's go with our first set of 25 elevated push-ups. Tilt this camera down a little bit so we can see what's going on. All right, we're going to kind of keep the pace going here. So now I'm going to go ahead and get your push press uh, weight ready. For me, it's going to be a dumbbell. You can do, I mean, it's going to be a kettlebell. You can do uh, 10 pound dumbbells, 20 pound dumbbells, whatever. It's comfortable for you. All right, 25 reps of this, and begin. One. What's up, Creative Vets guys over here? 
You just injured yourself stre stretching. <laughs> Man, that's a tough one. Stretch a little easy. Alright, let's keep the pace going here. Great job, guys. Dumbbell lunges, 25 reps. So, if you want to go down and back and you have the room to do that, by all means, feel free to. Um, if you want to do it in one spot where you just alternate legs back and forth, that is also a viable option. So, up to you guys. I'm going to do one spot just because I'm going to stay in the camera frame here so we can see what's going on. So, this should be with dumbbells on either side if you have them. I've got this kettlebell. I'm going to make it work right here. 25 reps. Ready? And go. So we've got these recorded. Um, if you if you happen to like one, we've done three different workouts in the last few weeks. And so if you happen to like one, um, feel free to play it back. You can access it um, and, and, and continue to do that. At a, we're only doing this weekly right now, but these are workouts that you could rotate easily every three days through the workouts that we've um, we've been doing so if you like one continue to tee that up and and uh, make it make it your own make it work for you so all right second set of dumbbell push press 25 reps ready to begin Crucial. Yeah. 
Alright, dumbbell lunges. This is our second set of dumbbell lunges. 25 reps. And begin. Be sure to get these as deep as you can because the tendency is going to be to cheat on them and not go as deep. Get your knee close to the ground without touching the ground. Try to keep your shoulders above your hips and keep good straight posture. Sweating a little bit, breathe a little bit harder. Maybe you're even out of breath. The point is, is muscle failure, and you want to get yourself to that point of being out of your comfort zone. So you want to feel uncomfortable at the end of each one of these these sets because when you put that sweat equity in and you're uncomfortable, that's when your body responds to that and says, hey, we need to build muscle. We need to build cardiovascular endurance to get stronger because that's the goal of all of this is to get strong, not atrophy, and not let our body get complacent um, from being quarantined and probably spending more hours um, sitting stationary in our houses than we ever have before. So, continue to train our bodies to fight, to stay moving, and to stay growing every day. All right, top of the, top of the key here, third set, elevated push-ups, 25 reps, do what you can, ready? And begin. I'll wrap those up. If you need to break it down, do 10, do five more, catch your breath, do 10 more, do it. No problem. All right. Now, we're in our third set of dumbbell cliff press. 25 reps, feel what you can. See you at the other end. And begin. You should be feeling a lot of pressure right here in the front portion of your shoulder. And then also be feeling it right back here where you're pushing up in your lats. Okay. Great job. Back in lunges. Third set of 25 dumbbell lunges. Modify it as necessary. Ready, begin.
vote for me. Yeah. Uh, all right, we're about 20 minutes in here. Three rounds down, two rounds to go. Back to the top. This is where we really get our cardiovascular health up and really push ourselves in these last two rounds. We're over the 50% mark and we want to finish strong so that we'll continue to hit muscle failure. So, elevated push ups, 25 reps, and begin. Feel y'all. I can feel y'all being strong out there. All right. Get your dumbbell weight up. We get our 25 reps of push press. Set down, guys. All right, time to get the lunges going, and then we'll just have one more iteration left to go. 25 lunges. If you want to modify this, feel free to step your feet out at an angle. You can cross over each side. Opposite leg behind you, and it'll get a little bit more work on your hip flexors, your abductors, and your glutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 25. Great job. You're four rounds deep out of five rounds. We're almost there, guys. At the end of this, you're going to have finished 125 reps of each one of these exercises, which is a lot of reps. And that's great for muscle failure and to get that tone going for the summer. So, Back to the top. Last set. Push through. Fourth quarter, guys. Work hard right here. Elevated push ups. Five. Set number five. 25 reps. And again.
Y'all should be feeling some real burn on that one. If you had to modify it, it's okay. That's a good sign because that means that you're getting the muscle failure and you're having to modify the movement because of the muscle failure. So that's great. Alright, dumbbell push press. Last set, 25. Engage your core on that. Ten. Twenty. One, two, three, four, twenty-five. Alright guys, if you're done with that body, okay, all you have left is to get a little lower body lunge action in here. I'm telling you, if you can, this will help you get deeper and will help strengthen the overall muscle between your knee and your hip. Everything in here, we're trying to engage that. So, if you can do the crossover step, try it, and you'll feel how much deeper that burn goes. So again, step a foot behind. Left foot, across and behind, come back. Right foot, it's almost like a plie. For those of you that do uh, ballet and those type of things. Alright, lock them out. Guys, that's it. Yeah. Y'all got that sweat on? Y'all put some work in? Oh. Oh. And uh, proud of y'all showing up. If you like this workout, be sure to replay it. Come back next week. We'll change it up. Do something a little bit different, but hopefully y'all got to feel some burn from this day and it paid off for you. So, again, like I said at the beginning, if you want to go do a finisher after this, um, feel free to get that three mile run in or do the five 100 yard build ups, whichever one is more appropriate for you and your fitness goal. So, guys, stay strong, stay fit, stay in the fight. Y'all have a great weekend.